Even Percy Jackson himself dropped his sword in fear at the sight of the primordial. What's Annabeth gonna do? Everyone, this is a response in a video where I was where I was responding to somebody who commented that Annabeth could take down Tartarus. Him, like An that Annabeth could be Tartarus, basically. And my whole video was saying that's not even pot. Like that's literally not possible. Annabeth cannot be Tartarus. It turns out the entire comment that I was responding to was a joke, so it wasn't even important. But. But whatever. But guys, let's talk about this comic because this is a really interesting concept that I don't think a lot of people remember, especially if you've only read the books like one time. So in The Lightning Thief, when 12-year-old Percy Jackson fought Ares and Percy Jackson kind of won with, he had Cronus' help. Let's be honest, Percy Jackson had Cronus' help when he beat Ares. Maturing is realizing that he had Cronus' help, okay? But after he beat Ares, Ares put a curse on him that basically said, when you need your sword most, it will fail you. And then two books later, we actually saw this curse take effect because Percy was fighting Atlas and a bunch of random, like he was fighting Atlas and his minions or I don't, I don't even remember. I'm sorry. He was fighting Atlas and some of his cronies up on top of a mountain. I'm not sure which mountain it is. It might be Mount Tamil Pais or something like that, but they were fighting and Percy's sword failed him in that moment and he almost died. I'm pretty sure he got saved by someone, probably Artemis. So Percy's curse took effect on him in the Titan's curse. So after that, the curse was gone until until in the house of Hades when Percy and Annabeth are going through Tartarus, journeying through Tartarus to get to the doors of death. They meet these creatures called Ari, I think that's how you say it. A-R-A-I is how you spell it. They meet these creatures and basically whenever you kill one of these creatures, you take a curse upon yourself. So like one of the curses that Percy gets is he gets a sty in his eye and like another curse that he gets is that, um, well actually I can't remember anymore. One of the curses Annabeth gets is that she believes Percy left her and whenever Percy tries to approach her, Annabeth like teleports somewhere else so Annabeth truly thinks that she's alone. But that's not important right now. What is important is that when Percy kills one of these Ari, the curse that Ares put on him is in that Ari so when he kills it, the curse goes back onto him. And then in that moment, the sword fails him. So for the people who think that the, the curse of Ares didn't take effect until the House of Hades, you're kind of right, but kind of not, because it did take effect in the Titan's curse, but then it re-happened in the House of Hades because Percy killed one of these cursed spirits that brought the curse back on him. So I just want to clear that up. This is kind of a long video, sorry about that, but I thought it had to be cleared up. 